And it's all about football. What do you love most about football? Well, at DSTV, what we love most about football is the fact that the world's most get loved game is going to Qatar. And we're going to be there for all 64 matches. Mm -hmm. All Not not 63, not 65. Not 69. Not, <laughs> we missed you, Andy. We missed I you. Right? you know, all 64 matches from Qatar, the big football tournament. So now we are all about Chachisha Mechi in Qatar. In Qatar. Qatar. You know, know you said we're going to be there. I was like, hola. No, we're not get the brief. Hey, oh, we're in the living room. By the way, by the way, if DSTV <laughs> want us to do some, some guys, live yes, stuff from can, Qatar, we yeah, are available. Yeah, 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 we do not yeah. mind. But the most important thing passport is right now, ready, passport heavy, passport ready and <laughs> heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but the most important thing right now is to make sure that ahead of um, the massive festival of football in Qatar, you are connected up. And if you're a new customer, you can get yourself a decoder for just three thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Bob, mm -hmm. like going to any DSTV store, make sure you go into the official DSTV stores and also get it installed by a proper, you know, DSTV approved installer. Don't be like Gene mm -hmm. and spend the year with the decoder just in the drawer. So get it all sorted out courtesy of DSTV. And don't forget as well, DVS. Yeah. Which I'm going to try and find out what it actually means. But it is the streaming service mm -hmm. from DSTV. So right now, you don't even need anyone to come into your house and drill no holes in your wall and come there with their pal ones on the roof. Hey, 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 I can't get to it. Hey, hey. Honey, no, how many drillers do you need, yeah. Bernard? Huh? Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Fam, the, you know when these guys used to come and install on your eye? You know, There's one guy on the roof. The wires hanging, the wires from, hanging like, down. The roof down to you know, the window. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, that's a lot of people in your house. It's that's chaos. <laughs> that's a lot. So, man, make sure that you, you get the decoder, 3999 Um, It comes with one month of DSTV Compact. And it's all about making sure that you are in front of the screens for the biggest festival of football in Qatar. Beginning in how many days? Uh, 23 days. 23 mm. days, man. 23 days, yeah. This is the mics are open and we're live from DSTV. The mics are blood clot open. Check, check, check. Select accent for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin. Calvin always late. Yo, what's up? This is the Mics Are Open, episode 182. My name's G Money. Andy Young. Ashley. Big C. Oh my God, Andy, I've missed that resonant baritone. <laughs> Andy Young, <laughs> back in the building. And look, it's so special, by the way, Andy. We, we decided that since you come back to the podcast this week, we had to make sure that we took the podcast out of the studio. It's nice. I love it. And as you I can see, we are movie. football themed today. It's all about Qatar. 2022, 2022 and we're doing the show today live and direct from the uh, multi-choice studios and We've the DSTV got an audience man yeah. like, got, it feels like, like a live show like, man wapinduru <laughs> you get, yeah, make some noise so the guy knows it's real <laughs> Also, also, this is nice here. Like it's we're nice. being fed, you know. There's oh, snacks. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you know, there's food at home, eh? You can't oh. say that. There's always, there's always food at home. There's always food at By home. By the way, let me tell you, um, the guys on the, the the channel who do the wild card, yeah. Venant. Eric Njiru and Brian. Yeah. Listen, this is the setting that they would love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They love would it. love this, man. All right, guys. What a week. What's up? Where what, were what's you? Up? <laughs> Where were you? Uh -huh. Where were you when What's Up went down? First of all, it I went, don't... went down mid-morning. That's different. Question is, did, did you notice What's Up had gone down? Or you Fam, found out I, on Twitter? Did you ever notice that things go down? I, listen, wow. if... You know, people, <laughs> I can't say that um, <laughs> things have gone down around me. So yeah, no. But you know the funniest thing? The funniest thing is, for the very first time in the history of WhatsApp and the history of social media, WhatsApp crashed, went mm -hmm. down. I didn't even know. Yeah. Oh, really? I did not oh, even you know. You must have been asleep, right? No, I was very much awake, but I was busy. Okay. <laughs> No, busy. Like, don't look at me like that. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh, please stop lies. I know we've got an audience and everything. You, what's up going down and you don't even know? Do you use where WhatsApp you? that much? I no. use WhatsApp a lot. Yeah. It's a lie. It's not a lie. No, where were you? Like, wh what happened? I was, I must have been I home. I know no, you two argue like a no, guy. No, no, no. This guy, for real, real. He's I'm like, not, I'm not, not going to stand here and stand for him. <laughs> I like. didn't know. <laughs> 
you see, you're the man in the relationship. If it makes anything better. <laughs> <laughs> we that can is tell. such a lie. Like G does not. Know. I didn't know it went down. <laughs> okay, so I I texted uh, Kev Kev and was like, "Yo, what's up? Is down right?" Because mm. we had a meeting right. at that particular point. Okay, right? and it lasted for like plus an hour or something. Mm. Right, oh, really? it was down was for a, a long time. Mm. Like imagine a whole hour. Yeah. Mm. that's down long enough, right? Mm. Yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the time. yeah we get it, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's 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 oh, a good wow. a good session. <laughs> you get so. So, but but oh, what's crazy thinking. is, like, <laughs> how people people like you know I was watching um, different news outlets say right. mm-hmm. what's up down in the UK and other countries. Mm. I'm like, bro, just say what's up is down in the <laughs> world. Why are they checking BBC? They're gonna start at home, bro. Yeah, That's no, true. but but now Nairobi Star, mm. which is affiliated to you lot, it said ah. what's up is down. <laughs> wow. Yeah, like it was general. It was general. It didn't say it in Kenya. <laughs> it was. Said, That's what's up how down I found in Nairobi? Out. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I saw all of these journalists. Like, what? Guys, think about it. It got to a point in mm. this world where if WhatsApp is down, it's breaking news. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I, I anything, loved how a lot down. of like agency people were just like, oh, okay, now we're actually going to be able to get emails saying as people have decided WhatsApp is a meme. Yeah. <laughs> By the <laughs> way, let me tell you, if you run a company, man, you shouldn't be like doing work on WhatsApp. Fact. You shouldn't do, because like, for example, even even our place, there's a time when like you know you have a competition and you're sending the winners to your to your your, your producer by mm-hmm. WhatsApp mm. and you got that 24 hours disappearing message oh, thing on man. it. <laughs> At the end of the week, guys come to you to panic. Can I have the name of all of the five winners? I'm like, I don't know, I don't know the names. Oh, like, wow. if you send them on an email or then in a Slack group, you can track it. Or an ERP, oh. you would have had oh, them. Damn, do you know what I mean? You're selling yourself out. <laughs> yeah. So I just I just think that in the day, like WhatsApp should just be. Just for personal conversation, man. It shouldn't be about work. And but stuff. you know, actually, I'm, 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 I'm very. I find it weird. Well, I talk to like guys who are married, and they always have disappearing messages. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> like, no. bro, like guys have disappearing messages mm. for everyone. Mm. What the fuck could you possibly be discussing? No, but I have well, disappear. Clearly. I have disappearing, no disappearing messages. Disappearing messages for everyone, bro. Then uh, what do we talk? How comes you don't have disappearing messages with me? Because here we, we go uh, again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have disappeared messages with you Can because you feeling the formal, bro. <laughs> because I'm, no, this is myth busters. Would you clearly. like disappearing I, messmessages with yeah, me? No, we, like no. Like, I, Jesus, Jesus I, like, can I We're all in one WhatsApp group. <laughs> can I answer? Session? The reason, <laughs> We're the, We're the, the reason I don't have disappeared messages with you is because our conversation predates. Yeah, disappearing messages actually being on because remember, disappearing messages wasn't on WhatsApp this is way for before deleting. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, so there you go. The PR team, Look at the, yeah, the PR team <laughs> is crazy, We're but doing then well. again, but then again you know, I'm, I'm not the biggest proponent of them, right? Like, imagine waking up from like one hell of a blurry like night mm. and you'd been like texting people and stuff right and boom everything's disappeared and you're trying to like you've killed a couple of brain cells uh-huh. and you're trying to remember mm. what while you you're, like looking at guys like mm. what was the last conversation you need the evidence the receipts but, but you know like what i found funny about whatsapp and it disappearing is that obviously there are alternatives mm. so i was on a website this morning mm. and they had a list of let me see how many alternatives seven seven alternative apps to use in place of whatsapp uh-huh. i'm gonna ask you how many of them you know right okay so number one telegram yep yeah yeah right do you have telegram mm-hmm. nude you, central do you have it N- nude central mm. that's where the you only introduce yo don't act like you guys true. didn't introduce me to telegram <laughs> telegram it Tele- was you too do you guys have telegram and, and that's the name you gave it nude central. Yeah. Yeah. everybody's on telegram you guys have telegram <laughs> Oh, so we even have our oh. open channel, bro. So, <laughs> we, so we are all adults here. Look, it's the enthusiasm in each and no, everybody's I face. I don't, know, yes. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Telegram for? But, but I use Telegram for, for just traffic. And traffic. High, high, Tra- high, traffic. Traffic high quality. Traffic at 3 a.m. in the morning. Don't ask questions. <laughs> what? What's traffic? Don't know. <laughs> guys, moving on. What other app? Don't so there's, hanging, there's, boy. There's <laughs> Telegram. Um, so there's also... <clears throat> For the I have how many people in here are iPhone people, iPhone guys? Well, I'm an iPhone? So he's not just reaching the ceiling. Stop right? pointing Austin, at people. We know you have an iPhone. iPhone guys? Hands down. No? And uh, you Damn. see, a couple iPhone guys. So obviously there's iMessage, right? Yeah. Yes. Now, I was today years old mm. when I found out there's a thing called Google Messages. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm. Mm. Like, like Google, Google Messages on Google. Do you have that? 
<laughs> Google yeah, Messages. Yeah, like, like on Gmail. <laughs> like, hold on, wait a minute. It's actually an app. Not Austin going like Andre. And Gmail. <laughs> it's an app, yeah? It's actually an app. Ugo. Google Messages. Yeah. Uh. It's so like Android I'm guys, for so it's the iMessage for Android, Android. guys. Oh. Call Google Messages. <laughs> uh-huh. so they text each other. It's, it's, blue. Uh. it's blue. Oh, oh so really? On Google Messages, wow. you actually get blue messages if you're on Android. Yes. Wow. So just, just okay. Move. Google <laughs> Messages. All right. There's another one called Freema. Freema. Um. Freema balls. Anybody heard of Freema? Freema is an open source app that allows users to make encrypted end-to-end video and voice calls. It allows blah, 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 whatever. Right. Viber. Yeah, no, Viber. Viber still exists. The guys still use Viber. Bro, if you're in China, man. Viber. Yeah, mad. And India. Yeah. Wow, India. Viber is huge in India. India and China. Yeah. Yeah. Viber. Yeah. Viber was cool like in the 80s, wasn't it? Like... (laughs) G. G. <laughs> like to go. <laughs> like like Viber. To go. Actually, yeah. I'm waiting for you to mention the other one. There's this another one here. Uh, Facebook Messenger. Oh, okay. Who uses Facebook? I still use it, by the way. I s- you use it, yeah? To communicate st- with who? My people on Facebook. So you those have are the apps. people on Facebook? Only that? There's, there's more. People there's one more. Sending messages on there's Facebook. There's Signal. Yeah. I hear about Signal. There's I Signal as well. It. But there's one called uh, Silent Phone. And this charges customers a price tag for its premium service hey. and it's end-to-end encrypted. And you actually, it's called Silent Phone. That's oh, only wow. fans <laughs> for messaging. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> what <laughs> what hey, messages are being that's sent the, over exactly. here? Yo, there's a lot, man. Yeah, but, like, yeah, but like it, imagine if you're sending, you know, like if you're sending missiles, bro. Right. Like if you're selling missiles. What's a missile? Huh? <laughs> so, can you stop talking like, in parables no 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 Today like, you're I'm talking actually, like I'm actually think, guys I've like thought maybe, about maybe it maybe coordinates no 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 no. I actually thought about it I want to start like uh, like I want to get into the artillery business like you right know, sending weapons missiles. of mass destruction and shit. wow so you want to which app is the best you <laughs> exactly. so wait you want to you want to use weapons of mass distra- destruction <laughs> so v- my via a <laughs> app <laughs> Yeah, that's not how it works. Like, I'm yo, afraid. <laughs> like, shwing, I'm selling this. How do you want it? True? But you know what? The, the thing like, how come the, you haven't mentioned Botim? Who? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's Bot- one called Botim. Botim. Yeah, yeah. Never how do you spell that? B O T I M. I'm sure you've made that up. Let me no, Google it. No, no, no. Botim. It's it's like I've what used it for? twice. What it's, for? Um, it's a lot of people in the oh. United Arab Emirates use mm. that video and voice call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on. It's on. Google Play. Mm. Is it as good as FaceTime? Of course not. Mm. But it, you know, because of the restrictions in the UAE. Mm. And you wanna, ah, okay. You yeah. want to make a voice call, you want to make a, a call. Yeah. Instead right. of, you know, VPNs and all of that, mm. Botim works very well. Okay. So okay. Botim works very much in the UAE, UAE and yeah, I guess yeah. like Qatar as well. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay, speaking about Qatar. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. That festival of football taking place in Qatar, you don't have to go. You can actually literally enjoy it all from the comfort of your living room. That's right. It's all about Chachisha Mechi in Qatar courtesy of DSTV and the most important thing is football brings people together so if you don't if you don't want to be left out as a matter of fact if if you're Mm. one of those people who's always going to somebody else's house (laughs) to watch football football. please change it this time around Mm. get yes like like you you don't don't look at me like that um change it around (laughs) invite people over to your house and i know you may not have a decoder but you can definitely get dstv and get all 64 games from qatar and all you need to do is get the dvs app um, streaming service from um dstv yeah Yeah. man so it's all available we're gonna put up a link over here (coughs) you're gonna find it and also what i like about it is you can simply go on google and actually just google dv S. DVS. And, and it's literally so easy. You'll be able to go in, log in, pop your in, nice and set. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm like sure it's I not said, a hassle. Yo, yeah. clarity. Only, I hear it's just like four, four steps. Yeah, very, very simple. And I think it was about time. Like, see how we can easily get into other streaming apps to check out whatever we want to check out. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was about time. Yeah. One time. Also, ladies, this is yeah. when you start now creating those parties so that... Your yeah, mandem, man. Your mandem can stay home, right? Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> like, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Calvin. This is why they love you on the podcast. I see right? why. I see I'm giving why. you hacks, yeah. honey. I'm not gonna lie. You know me. I never miss an opportunity to talk about my 65-inch <laughs> HD television, which I got two weeks ago. That is all just about Qatar. That's the biggest thing in your life, right? 
That's what's up. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's what she said. Um, so, and the thing about it is, um, I've actually... True story. G and I were shopping early this week, right? Oh, of course oh, you are. Oh, tell us about it. Tell us about your shopping early Yo, on this week. Like we walk into a, a store yeah. and this guy showed me like an 85-inch TV. And he's like, yeah, man, exactly like what I got. Then the guy's like, yeah, he's like the guy, the, the, the shop attendant. Mm. He's like, no, 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 you're wrong. The guy doesn't even know his size. <laughs> wow. Wow. He, he looked at you and he was like, Bro, nah. That's like why. You know, like, yo, <laughs> how guys be exaggerating? Well, yo, but, it's an 85. But, but, but you but could you also know say, that's the size I wanted. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> manifest, okay? Manifest, manifest. Yo, but my but man oh, by wrong. the way, I think I have to publicly say, Calvin bought me an air fryer. <laughs> oh, that's cute, man. I love it. Calvin bought me an air fryer. <laughs> round of applause. Let me tell you, we could not hear the end of it on ev- literally every Jesus. single Let platform. Let me tell you, if you, if you <laughs> have not gotten a phone call from me about air fryers this week, we are not friends. <laughs> Wait, no, G, wait, not oh, G calling me, not guys, G calling guys. me, asking me how to make samosas in the air fryer. <laughs> how do I use this thing, Ash? <laughs> how how long do I put them in? For? So now I get it. Now I get it. What? Is that the same day as what, when WhatsApp went down? Yeah, you must have been. Yes, yeah, I was. You must have been messing with your air fryer. That's it. It's actually the same day. <laughs> it's actually the else. same day. Whatever this is, I love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I get it. Now I get it. Oh, so no, guys, no, 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 no. I want. No, I know I'm late to the party, mm. but I want to talk about air fryers. So my okay. God. So what have you made? What have you made? So my first, my first, um, the first thing I tried to do was samosas. Mm. So shout out to Rama. Rama. Rama's wife sent me over a whole. Stock. Um, mm-hmm. stack of samosas, mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, homemade, beautiful. So now I call Ash and I'm like, Ash, how do I do these samosas in the air fryer? So Ash is like, so You're gonna be disrespectful. What do you like, mean? You've known me to have an air fryer for that long. We come from the store together. I even sent him a message because he told me about the samosas. You can't even ask me. Calvin, uh, we have like seen you what you do to more. food. Expert. No. We have seen what you do to no. food, Calvin. No. <laughs> like this, bro. I wouldn't ask you for advice when it listen, comes to You know, here's the thing about an air fryer. You never need a chef. You don't need no culinary expertise. So I didn't call no, you because, just, just, because you're an expert. So I called Ash. No. Wow. Ah. But Calvin, listen, it's okay. Do you, you have need an to, air fryer? Of course I have an air fryer. Okay. What do you mean? <laughs> We're going to get you one. We're going to get you one next. That's why he called me. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> so try the samosas. Yeah, didn't work for me. Yeah. So the first batch, I, just, I was excited. I just threw them in there, plugged and it in. And it wasn't my instructions, yeah, guys. No. <laughs> but then he was like, you know, spray some little oil on them. Da, da, da. Yeah, they were okay. They were okay. They were healthy. They were nice. Farm, chicken. Mm. Oh my God. I think I'm going to eat chicken every day. <laughs> well, I do anyway, but like, I think I'm going to eat it like every day now. How long did it take you to cook? Like 20 minutes, man. It came out yeah. crispy. It's nice. It like it tasted like like these brands out there on road, but without the <laughs> without the running belly. <laughs> Yo, it was so it's good. Healthy. So, um, so I'm I'm a con- I'm a convert now. So I'll be air frying every well not everything but most things in my house. Man, but you know, but you know, I saw a video this week of uh, black people and air fryers. This black you saw I sent it to you, right? Mm. They threw some lobsters mm-hmm. in the air fryer, whole alive in the air fryer. That's just cruelty. Sprinkled like spices on them, mm-hmm. like they even had like whole commentary and everything. Uh. Black people, like how do you put things that are alive in the thing? You dump anything in an air fryer? No, fam. No, we don't. come from slavery where you where, like <laughs> yeah, there's, just, no. there's nothing we won't no, do. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> nothing passes us. But you like know they what? put us alive into like the bottom of a sh- sh- <laughs> <laughs> That's just us like reliving our, thing, our trauma. Yeah, man. Oh, but, man. But I'm, gl- I'm glad that you're enjoying it. No, but I'm, you enjoying know, it. I'm enjoying listen, it. Listen, fuck it. I don't want to waste no more time. Can we talk about the elephant in the room? Okay. Ooh, Kevin. Oh, oh, Kevin. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Baby Kevin elephant. Kevin enjoying those snacks. Listen. Huh? Hey, life is good. <laughs> Omari. Kanye, yay. Oh. Bro. Where do you even start, bro? Listen. How long do we have to talk about Kanye? Because let's, let's, it's, it's a talk lot. about it's it. A it's a lot. List. Like, I, I am in shock. Like, mm. I don't even know 
how to decipher this i saw g tweet out something so genius he was like at the uh we're watching the unraveling the, un- mm. the, the, the destruction of of of, of one of the geniuses of our of our time of our time sure. yeah. but you know what i've seen so many guys put their um what do you call it their opinions out on this and mm. i'll start by this and we said it on the podcast last week kanye west has come out and said that um uh, he suffers from mental illness yes mm-hmm. he's spoken about him having to be on meds yes uh people have said oh he's on meds even kim kardashian the ex-wife touched on it mm-hmm. right i get that trevor noah lent his uh, opinion to it and said right. uh he has said it uh-huh. that he's on meds and everything but the one thing that i think about kanye and when we look at and i said it last week there's something greater here there's mm. a whole underlying factor because mm. my thing is this Kanye West still has a team mm-hmm. right right and there's going to be many people on a team who will tell you nah bro yeah and he's got a whole legal team and Kanye West lawyers mm. are not cheap either mm. right guys can tell him yo by the way yo chill out on this mm. make an apology or you know yeah because Kanye West said what he said on drink champs right so and he's gone on other platforms <laughs> and re Retracted, affirmed, reaffirmed what he said. What he said, yeah. right, bro. Okay. Something's deeper. So, for those of you who are not following the story, right? For those of you who are living under a rock, for those of you who just maybe are not, you know, across yeah, yeah. it, Kanye West was dropped by Adidas um, over the last couple of days. Um, Balenciaga, a, a, Balenciaga, Gap. his Gap as well, Chase. his booking agency, all of these people, C-A-A. right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, according to Forbes magazine, he's no longer. A billionaire. a billionaire, and um, this is after being dropped. And you know, on Drink Champs, Kanye West went as far as to say, like, I could make an anti-Semitic remarks, yeah, and Adidas would still not drop me. Mm. Well, 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 that didn't work out too well. Yeah, yeah. Adidas has dropped him, right? Yeah. And they've they're not making any payments to him, and they're suspending or stopping the Yeezy brand. Now, let's talk on this, and let's have a let's have an open conversation, right? Let's look at this without bias. Kanye is not the first artist to be cancelled because of perceived anti-Semitic remar- remarks. He's not the first guy. Mm-hmm. And he's probably not going to be the last. And the, the same thing that we said happened to Wiley, yeah. Yeah, Wiley yeah. in the UK. Now, when you look at the music industry in the UK and the US, as diverse as it is, and there are so many African-Americans and black folk and Asian folk who are, who are embedded in the system, who are doing really, really well. At the top end of the music industry, we talk about people like Lyle Cohen, people like mm. Lucian Grange. And I randomly even Googled this morning. This morning I Googled the head of Goldman Sachs, for example. Yeah. Like, it's only investment bank that I knew. Mm. Like, yeah. I don't know much about that. And actually, the CEO of Goldman Sachs is Jewish, but he's also a DJ. Yeah. Mm. This guy's a proper DJ, like DJing around, like mm-hmm. making remixes and That's stuff. Dope. Coolest guy on earth, I think. So my thing about it is, at the end of the day, it's like obviously being Jewish and at the top of the game doesn't make you a target, nor should mm-hmm. it. That's, that's a ridiculous statement to make. But my only thing is, it's like, you know, like Dave Chappelle said, it's like when you remove, when you, when you take away somebody's food, mm-hmm. like taking away someone's livelihood, is almost the same thing as literally killing them. Yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to say, like, mm. you take someone's livelihood, like, you know... And, Akin to? And at the end of the day, I'm no way an apologist. I am not a Kanye West apologist, you know, and he needs help. Yeah. You know, whatever he's going through mentally is not an excuse for him to lose his humanity, you know? But I'm just, I'm just looking at how hard this, this blowback has been against him. Mm. I'm like, wow, like, end of the day, it's like, if this guy does need help, we see we're pushing him further into the yeah, into the abyss. Into the, yeah. I, I get all of that, right? Mm. But remember where everything started. Mm. August thereabout, mm. Kanye started talking about ownership, the issues he's had with Adidas, Adidas yeah. mm. how he's wanted shares, how he's wanted what. Mm. This thing is deeper than it is. You reckon? There's always, there's so. always something going on. Yo, Kanye is not a fool. Is your theory that yeah. he did all this so that he can yeah. get out of his contract? Because here's the thing. Because oh. here's the thing. He's wanted, he's wanted out so for much a while. more yeah. out of the contract. Yeah. Right. And these guys have been pushing back saying, no, no, you can't, you can't, what, this. Like, at some point, you've seen Kanye uh, say when, when a couple of weeks ago, 
when Kanye was out here with some of the guys from Adidas yeah, and showing, showing them, them mm-hmm. like porn and shit, mm-hmm. you know, like mm-hmm. Kanye, bro. So do you do you see do you think that he has a wider agenda, like as in he yep. wants to get out? But what's the point of getting out of these contracts if no one's gonna work with but you? But did Look he expect it? for all of them to drop him up at the same time after no, that? My thing is this, yeah, but Kanye, he must have known the the, the, the yeah, effect. Of course, way, but, yeah. but here's the thing: his biggest deal currently was definitely with Adidas, yeah. one point five B. Bro, he has dented them. You saw the stock. Yeah, yeah. I fell. Yeah. It fell, right? Mm. Black people are going to be black people. They'll be like, yo, Adidas was doing good. Bro, Adidas, Run DMC did the thing. Yeah. Adidas, let's be honest, for a while, was well, not doing yeah. facts. Actually, a, facts, lot, a lot of right? the... Yeah. The UK was supporting it with the, the shell toes. The, the yes. bounce back for Adidas was, was easy. easy. Mm. Was easy, yeah, and true. Yeezy, uh, earlier this year, uh, one of the guys that Adidas said, one of our most treasured partners mm. is actually Kanye, Kanye. West. Mm. Right? So this man has gone and given them such a huge brand. Mm. Mm. Like literally, Adidas is back in hip-hop. Adidas <clears throat> is back in fashion. Right, what, what, right. what? And these guys are... There's that whole push and pull. Ah. So now you go and do the most outrageous thing. Because if you go to court, you're probably going to have to pay for this. Maybe you won't win. Maybe are, you, are, you, are, you, are you crediting Kanye with the foresight of saying, I'm going to do all of this mad stuff. They're going to kick me out of the contracts. Then I'm going to find some way to atone and get back in and do everything myself. Fam, it's very possible. Think about it. Like if I look at a contract and I look at what do I need to do to get out of it? I sit with some brilliant minds. Lawyers are paid to look out of look at contracts mm. and be like, how can I get the right. hell out of it? And the lawyers say to him, this so is it's like my, see, I mean, I have a contract at work. Yeah. And right? it has all of these things. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm trying to like let me just let me just open my contract right now. Oh, wow. For me, <laughs> yeah. For me to get like kicked out immediately, I have to do something called gross misconduct. Yes. yes. So if I go on air tomorrow or Monday, mm. right, and I'm like, yo, f this, the president, that, what, f that, the yeah, owner yeah. of the company, f mm. this, then technically speaking, they probably will fire me. I get out of the contract, then I come to work for Trace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More or less. Well, you'll have to chill a bit, but but you get what I mean. No, no, yeah. if they, no, if fired, not, no, if they this, if they no, but here's cancel the, thing, the contract. But here's the thing. Here's Kanye West. Mm. He's a genius, right? He's got money. So mm. everybody says he's got 400 M. That's what Forbes says to him, yeah. right? Kanye West has been able to make some really dope kicks. Mm. He's understood the game. This is the guy. I was watching a whole um, documentary on how he went to intern at uh, Louis, Louis Vuitton mm-hmm. years mm. back when he'd been canceled the first time. Mm-hmm. Remember when mm. he made the comments about uh, Thingy on stage? What mm. was her name? Ooh. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Mm. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he took, he went to Hawaii. Before he went to Hawaii to work on the album, before that, he went and interned because he always wanted to get into this whole fashion, fashion industry. industry. Mm. So Kanye knows the ropes. So if I do all of that and I've got 400M and I just pump in 50 into my own label mm. and start growing it and it's black owned. Mm. So is, he's setting but a pace for himself. But why I, jeopardize I so many know, relationships? Yeah, boy, at what expense? Yeah, because yeah. you jeopardize so many relationships at the cost of just Fam. letting go of this one contract. But I, maybe the end goal is to set a pace for himself where people don't undermine his his value. But bro, you jeopardize so much. You have, but here's the thing. Kanye has brilliant people around him. He's a he, he's there one of those guys who doesn't give a fuck. He's very egotistic and all of that, mm. and he understands this is what I'm doing. But bro, I may be wrong, but also I like to look at things from different two, perspective. Two, 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 different the rumors that even his lawyers have dropped him. So mm. maybe everybody has really just nah, cut that. This, another like, another cut theme. That wire. Yeah. Another theme. See how cancel culture has gone corporate. Mm. True. Are we are we are we living in a time when? You're probably thinking if I want to work with a, a certain brand, you know, mm. say things go wrong, right. um, like say Nike, right? Because mm. I've seen Nike stand by the ambassadors yeah. through thick and thin, right. you yeah. know. But uh, is there like a collective or this general agreement <laughs> when it comes to corporates at that level where if someone crosses this line, right. then we have to like maybe debunk them or everything, take everything away from them. Yeah. And as you're saying, what Dave Chappelle was uh, proposing, like yeah. if 
this is happening and someone has made maybe some very inflammatory remarks about right. this and that and maybe there's another community that feels afflicted or right. some some type of way mm-hmm. are, are we are we helping the situation in any way if we take this person's sources of livelihood away or, from them yeah or making it worse because if we do that have we even helped the community that's feeling marginalized mm. or right. that's that's feeling some type of way it's it's not done anything other than show people that you know what we're going to swing whatever direction yeah. this thing goes and yep. we don't have any loyalty to I mean, our people. Or I, 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 like I get you. I mean, it scares me. Mm. Like, it literally scares me. Not like, it scares me that that the ability to have everything you've worked for and it can just be taken away. Mm-hmm. That is actually scary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is scary that you can invest your talent, your genius, your creativity. Years. And time. years of your life and it can just be like, even the Spotify CEO, the Spotify CEO is like, yo, listen, man, Kanye's music doesn't, there's, not, there's nothing offensive about Kanye's music, so it stays on the platform. Yeah. Yeah. But I can foresee a time come when, you know, the, the, the get Kanye's say, hey, you got to stop playing his music and get his music off the platform. And I'm like, wow, like, that's actually scary because if you bring mm. it down to the micro level, imagine someone in your own life, in your own circle. And I was thinking about this, I was like, okay, Cool. If I said something crazy on the radio, it wouldn't matter because my brother's rich. But apart, <laughs> but apart from that, yeah, fallback plan. <laughs> fall, fall back plan, yeah. But like, um, but like, if I said something on the crazy on the radio, how far could it go? Mm. Or how far could it actually go? I mean, end of the day, oh, well, we've seen that. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. If anybody knows how far it can go on this show, yeah. I know. But like, we've seen how far that can go. I mean, look at the other day on the station, like, bro. You know when we offended the dog? Well, when I offended dog owners, I was literally shook, bro. Yeah. Cause I'm like, so. I'm like, yo, I said something about dogs. Guys didn't like it, but guys were trying to uh, build to build this thing it, up. Yeah. Next and thing you, know, you hear, you know what? You're man, not on air. It's want, like this want, guy doesn't like dogs. Man, they were not even crying wolf. Yeah, wolf. <laughs> 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 Terrible. Wow. <laughs> We're trying to save a situation, Calvin. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, just, I, I, just, um, I, I just think it's crazy that but you, you know, can but work. You know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Mm. I look at this also from the fact that also a lot of companies are just scared. Right. And I think the, the council culture has become a follow culture as well because mm. they see one corporate dropping you. They think they have to be the next one to do yeah, the yeah. same because like, then the, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back to them and people are going to be like, why haven't you done it and as then well? They lose that, their is exactly, that is, exactly. That is yeah. exactly how it is, right? Mm. So some of these companies are now, like I can tell you, for real, some of those mm. companies, some guys in there are like, okay, man said something. Very mm. offensive. Mm-hmm. Very heinous. Mm. Okay, right? But what else does he do? He actually does some dope stuff. Exactly. Mm. Okay. They, yeah. You understand? Mm. But some of these companies just dropping is by the fact that you're afraid that your stock is going to go down. Right. Mm. What, what, what? Business or we don't want this business. association. Mm. It's just business. But mm. as Andy was yeah. saying, like that shows how much you don't trust the people you're working with in yeah. the first place. Because yeah. you picked them for a reason, right? Mm. So why are you dropping tomorrow, them? tomorrow, if the universe decides that they hate me and they no longer want Bro. anything to do with me, then that... It's like, game over. It's like, up. Like yeah. I was watching. I was watching. Um, now taking it back. I was watching a documentary with Eric Cantona, right? When he kicked the the guy, the guy, mm-hmm. and he was suspended for what? Close to a year or something. Well, I don't know if it was that long. I can't yeah, remember. Some, but yeah, eight months or something. Eight months or something, like, yeah, something yeah. like that, right? And and he was explaining everything that happened and Eric was asked would you do it again and he said yes Tell yes. The yes by the way Eric Cantona was a G Eric, though yeah like this council thing was there before yeah but it wasn't towards where it this, is now yeah. yeah like bro when you watch the EPL and those stories some shit's been foul mm. yeah yeah but right now like say for instance um if Eric Cantona was playing football right now did that to a fan wow he signed to a a, a boot company yeah. he's deal got is a gone. this he's got a that he's got a that mm. all of them deal yeah. is gone yeah yeah you get if we're gonna be fucking cancelling people why hasn't pogba been dropped because of his craft. hairstyle no <laughs> For witchcraft the witchcraft thing <laughs> But like, like but you what? can't cancel. We are why? Africans. No, you can't why? cancel someone. No, 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 no. We're African. But Eric no, Zero needs to be canceled. No, for that <laughs> huh? Eric Zero. Eric Zero. No, yeah. yeah. My point is this, yeah. right? So he's not been cancelled for something that is not offensive to white people. Yeah. 
Oh, I, yeah, hey, you're doing the lines. No, it's true. Oh, it's so true. you're it's saying true. if it's white true. people, if white people knew how to do black magic, <laughs> <laughs> it's a different story. Wow, oh, think about it. They just no. like nah. look at them. Them people, no, witchcraft, uh, mediocre religion, what, 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 we don't understand it. We don't mm. care. Why hasn't he been cancelled? Bro, he planted, he because buried the, a chicken Because the, the witch doctor, the <laughs> spirit, it worked. Is <laughs> <laughs> this a little juju here not to be cancelled? That was supposed to be for Mbappe, that was all. Yeah. yeah. Everybody else is good. You oh, oh, man. Like, like, Oh, man, no, it's and deep though. I, I I get what you're saying, but then I I genuinely don't want to put this in gear. Huh? I genuinely no no no. no I get you. We, we see your boy in bro. Do you know what I mean? You're back. <laughs> you oh, I, saw, I saw your press, press, right. press conference. <laughs> press, <laughs> press conference. <laughs> press conference. <laughs> no, we're, we're not with Calvin on his comments to do with. Now before 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 we yeah? before we move over oh, to man. before we move over to the UK, I wanna still let you know where. Coming to you live today from the DSTV headquarters, multi-choice studios here in Nairobi. And DSTV still stands as the undisputed and exclusive place for you to watch all 64 games in Qatar. And they are ready to bring you all of these games in, in HD, the greatest football event ever. And all games live, 64 games live from Qatar, wherever you are. Yes, wherever you are, because you can now stream um, DSTV via the new service, which is called DVS. Mm -hmm. We're going to find out a bit more about DVS a little bit later on. But also don't forget an amazing offer right now on Decoders. So if you want to step into a DSTV store, you can get yourself a decoder for just 3999 Bob, I bought a decoder last week. Um, <laughs> like I mentioned, um, I paid 1999 for it as an existing Customer. customer but mm. let me tell you on my 65 inch television come on. hd come on is it OLED? 4k it's 4k kevin says it's 4k yeah I, let me tell you i can see in the nostrils <laughs> of erlen Haaland. that's what i'm talking about but so you still can't see why pogba should be cancelled <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so make sure you get your hands uh, connected with dstv it's all about tachisha so, mechi in qatar, qatar. Yes. now can we talk about Diwali for a hot sec? Yo. I've didn't got, we I've speak about it? No, no, we, no did. we didn't. But you know we, what? I mean, we talked about how we're not being given holiday. a bloody but, holiday. But brah, <laughs> let me tell you guys this. Like, um, I don't know. I'm not trying to be offensive. <laughs> but my God, I felt a bit of what it feels to be in a war zone. Yo, my the fireworks. God. Fireworks. Like the dog was even <laughs> tripping. <laughs> Yo. Oh, wait. You actually fireworks. was crying and shit like, oh. I'm like, what did I just say? Fed you a sausage. Oh, huh? Fireworks. Cried and cried. <laughs> Yo, the dog. Bro, the dog even went oh, to sleep man. early the following you day. You know, living in <laughs> <a> dog. <laughs> traumatized. Yo, the dog cried. <laughs> Running out of the kitchen into oh the fucking goodness. living room. Two minutes in, it's urinated on the sofa. Oh, no. Because he was just like, brr, pa, 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 pa. <laughs> Bro, my ears were even hot. Wow. Like, what the fuck? But then, around your ears. Oh, but then God, you know what's crazy, so though? Much. Like, mm. you know, it's like, the thing about Diwali is that you can't escape it because you're here. You're hearing all of the fireworks, yeah. right? But it's almost like that that club that's banging. Yeah. And you just can't get in, <laughs> like because they didn't give us like a day off. Yeah. As well, like <laughs> I feel that by next year, yeah. President Ruto is gonna let uh, Diwali be a be a, a holiday. To. A holiday. Yeah, yeah, we need to we need to celebrate day. as well, man. Even me, I wanna light some fireworks and, right? and thing. I saw my friends who are not even Indians. They were just like, we're partying with them. We were partying yeah, with them. Yeah. So they went and they were like firing Bro, up fam, the speaking about, with them. Speaking about, I was in Parklands, man. Speaking about Indians. <laughs> yeah. Speaking about Indians, bro. Like, um, England now has an Indian oh, yeah. prime, minister. Oh, prime minister. Oh, yeah. By the way, you know the mayor of London mm -hmm. in the UK? The mayor of London is actually Indian as well. Oh, oh yeah. really? And one of the there's a there's a, 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 a there's a borough in London called Tower Hamlet. The 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 I don't know if it's the mayor or whatever. He's also Indian. Oh come on! So I Indians Indians are taking over you. the UK, Let me bro. Tell you, you're man. Never holiday. Yo, like the Queen out now. Yo, the she Queen must be rolling in. Bro, now, you know. Let me tell yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's been what forty something. Bro, days. England. No, I don't even figure how big that is. England. <laughs> has got an Indian Prime Minister. Bro. There is curry in 10 <laughs> down in no, man. Fam, pompadon, <laughs> samosas, <laughs> the problem. Chapos. The hey, spicy hey, man. There's even bajia, man. Bajias. But you know what? Oh, There's no man. beef. Yeah. 
Oh God. I, I see what you did there. But bro, it's crazy. This no, this is this uh, is like this is like the Obama's going into the White House. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you know, I know at some point Michelle was frying chicken in that White House yeah, kitchen. Of, of course. course. Yo, Yo did you, barbecue. Did you, did, yeah. you watch, did you watch all of those black rappers go into, yeah. Yeah, into oh. white? You know, they had like some I mean, catfish and, and I mean, it's yeah. like it's like asking in the previous government, you don't think there was Jimmy Son in State House? I doubt it. <laughs> There must be more yeah. Bibles now. Yeah. You know, wow. it's, just, it's just how it is. But here's the thing. Um, thinking about this guy checking in, first and foremost, he's richer. He's Yo, richer than the queen. Pressed. Richer than the queen. Yeah. Rich, rich is up, bro. bro. Mm. Him and his wife are a worth... Bad B, though. Him and his wife are worth 780 million pounds. Yo, but I, th- I thought she was like 1.2 or some shit. No, see what she it is. From long money so basically, yeah. her dad is some... A billionaire? Billionaire computer guy, yeah. Yeah. Infosys or something some, like that. Some, mm. yeah. And she, her being a shareholder, her shares are worth like seven hundred. So her, it's between him and the wife. Seven hundred. They have tombs. Yeah, but nice. you know what? Mm. At least because he has money, he won't steal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well. <laughs> anyway, so but, but I do mean, you guys want to do a countdown of how long he's going to last? No, he's going to last. Gonna be there I for genuinely. A while. That's what she said last night. <laughs> No, I, I, Lord, I inject. just inject, <laughs> inject. Now we're putting. I genuinely, I genuinely believe he's gonna be a good prime minister. Mm. Yeah, why? I, I really. Let me tell you why. Minority. I think not because he's a minority. He's right. He's a conservative, which is like the, the you know the. Has the, a meal? No, as in no. <laughs> Over here, we don't have. <laughs> You're such like an idiot. Like like You're some. such an idiot. Over here, we don't have. Um, oh boy. We don't have um, like um, the equivalent. Mm. Like, so it's like a Republican yeah. versus Democrats. Mm. It's like a Republican. But I genuinely think that, like, end of the day, the way he handled the economy yeah. during COVID in the UK, mm. he really did well. Mm. Like yeah. a lot of my friends were able to steal money from the government <laughs> by getting these loans. And now they have to pay them back in their pissed off. <laughs> but apart yeah. from that, I, no, I genuinely, like, like the furlough scheme, mm. he, he kept businesses open. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? And at the end yeah. of the day, like England is going through a whole financial, the world is going through a whole financial. Uh, I don't see anybody else in the UK. Like COVID was different, different. Mm. Mm. And we have to give leaders credits. Like we have to give leaders credits around, leaders credits, credits. around, <laughs> credit around the world. Mm. Because fam, if you, like, can you imagine being president or being prime minister during COVID? Yeah. Yes, you've never seen this thing before. The pressure, mm. man. And at the end of the day, he did, I think he did a good job managing the economy mm. of the UK during COVID. Yeah. So now the world's going into depression and prices are up everywhere. Not just in Kenya, mm. everywhere. everywhere. True. I was yeah. watching how in the UK, <clears throat> like a bottle of cooking oil that was like £1.96 six months ago, it's now two pounds ninety. That's yeah. like a thirty three yeah, percent yeah, yeah. increase. That's a, that's a so I I trust his financial chops. I do. I think he's a safe pair of hands. And I think at the end of the day, like the conservatives know that they can't act up because the elections are coming and thing. But oh, but, yeah. but you know that's crazy though. Like an uh, Indian you, you, prime you, minister you've, is you've mad. Tr- you've tried to give it that whole you know business education that you uh. did in the <laughs> college of jamaica uh, jamaica right? college Anti-team. jamaica college but you know the most like talk to the people with such simplistic terms if your economy is in shutters <laughs> go get a master of bargaining from the asian community an indian 99 uh. cents they can sell it to you easy by the way, how else? Like you know, guys are trying to complicate it. Mop so simple like that. So he's saying, What's basically, up? Rishi's going to sell England. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to sell the UK. He's be like, yo, I'm going very, so very much. cheap this week. <laughs> but no, the thing about, I, I think so, but also I just think I'm just so happy for the racist yeah. in the UK. You know what's actually crazy? I saw one of the guys, former the military yeah, I'm happy guy. for them. I saw a former <laughs> white, white guy in the UK. He's in parliament as well. Uh, former military guy and he was on um what's charlene on itv no, itv yeah itv mm. press conference you know how he, he's been ambushed while in yeah. parliament and what mm. and he's talking about this that 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 and he said inshallah <laughs> yes <laughs> Yo, so out of like, nowhere what? <laughs> yo the uk is mad. but by the way but think about it bro Ish. think about it though brexit brexit was literally run on a okay. racist yeah. manifesto. Yeah. They're taking our jobs. Yeah. Keep England or keep Britain British. British yeah. Yeah. Like, 
Nigel Farage, all of those people, they literally run on a racist, racist platform. Mm. And here, at the end of all of Brexit <laughs> and all of that stuff, they end up with an <laughs> Indian <laughs> prime minister. Yo, I love guys it. Have been, guys have been so pressed. They're showing videos of him in like uni being wild and shit. And people are just like, listen, you're just pressed that an Indian is in... Is They're in, pressed. In, but, yeah. but you know what? Fuck all of this. We're talking about the UK too much. What is he going to do for Kenya? He's been born in Kenya, right? No, his dad is born oh, in Kenya. Gonna, yeah, we don't care. He's got a Kenyan connection. <laughs> Bro, potato, we, potato. Listen, why are Kenyans you have so to do that thing. That? You know Kenyans don't want to hear he's going to do what for the UK. Are we Those getting... Are, details. are we going to be seen... What did he get what did, anything from Obama? What, what no. did I, exactly. Listen, we got nothing from no. Obama. We got five-year visas. Our wow. visas got better. No. That was Trump. No, 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 no. He started as Obama was leaving. He did something for our visa situation. What is this man going to do for us? Those are the questions that we want you I to answer. I see why he were get, we're getting him into politics. No, because Jesus given us such a complex. What is he going to do? Yes, Kenya, he, you know, the there's UK no way. Like, 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 <laughs> like, Before like, you go to Jamaica. Like my man, his <laughs> dad used to be from Kenya. Used mm. to yeah. be here, right? That was born in Kenya. Yeah, like mom yes. from Tanzania. You, as in Kenyans, I've really Africa. declared this guy, eh? Bro, <laughs> Africans, if you are ours, you're ours. You no, only, no. but you why, only want to. Why did we not claim him when, uh, claim him when he was in finance? We didn't know who exactly. exactly. He was not important. Ah, what? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you guys are such fucking liars. I hate that I work with you guys. Listen, <laughs> if I went, no, if I went and became president now. over here, you guys are gonna be so new to me. You're like Calvin. I always knew you guys were gonna be president. You fuckers didn't know I was but gonna I just be president. Said that, Calvin. You know, I just said like that's guys, why we're putting bro, in politics. Let's, let's 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 be real. Let's not fake it. He's got a powerful position now, right? We want one thing. Diwali holidays. <laughs> Diwali holidays. <laughs> what you else? Get. One of them, yeah. We want instant visas to the UK. Mm -hmm. right? You can't, even get, you we can't even get a visa to we, Parkland. We want... <laughs> wow. We Even want an them. invite to our party, We're not bro. the same, guys. We, we want, we want, we oh, want everything that was stolen from us back. Mm. Okay. All right. From you Africa. get what I mean? Are you <laughs> sending him an email? Well, yeah, as well. We can put on a Diamond Plaza. <laughs> All right, we, we could, we can, we, we can, we can discuss what we want from Rishi Sunak. We're at DSTV, by the way, coming to you live. Who's on the lockdown tonight? Uh, we have Chunky Love on the lockdown tonight. Mm. Uh, I think it's his debut. Oh, big up Chunky Love, yeah, yeah. yourself, and, and DJ Otis. All right, is this yeah. a chunky guy, slim. Chunky from some homeboys. He's not chunky at all. Yeah, he's that's very the irony. small. Fuck that's the irony. Chunky, Skinny, like yeah. All right, cool. I'd plug him, but no. <laughs> if, if you catch my drift. So now you know who's on the lockdown. It's all about Chunky Love, my colleague Chunky Love, and of course Otis coming through tonight on the lockdown. Now. Of course, brought to you by DSTV today. And with DSTV, it is the best way for you to make sure that you are all across the action in Qatar. And mm -hmm. having said that, how many days are left? 23. 23 days. 23 days because we're counting down to the 20th of November. Mm. Super excited because it's all about Chachisha Mechi, Mechi in Qatar. I love it. And we're joined on set right now by guys who apparently know more about football than I do. I know definitely know more about DVS than I do. First of all, I want to welcome Laban to the studio. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, yeah. And this is Shafi as well. He's, he's, he's come through to... Talk, talk about, about this awful shirt <laughs> that he's wearing. So, Laban, you are you, apparently you are the DVS um, specialist. Yeah, apparently. So, uh, what DVS stands for? Uh, it's literally DSTV via streaming. Now, like now you know, I saw that on the, uh, last week. I was like, yeah, you, you stream via DVS. I thought it was and just I, a cool I name. I thought it was a car, like yeah. <laughs> DVS, DVS. You know what I mean? So, DSTV via streaming. Yeah, so, yeah. tell us a bit more about how that works. So basically, it's a niche uh, that we identified. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, those usual customers, uh, I had Big C mention it uh, right. uh, on the previous podcast that uh, he doesn't have a decoder. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we're here to sort him out. Right. Yeah, so that he, he can't miss all the 64 matches. Right. So, so let me clear something up because mm -hmm. there's something that I was confused about. DVS is separate from having the app. Yeah, it's a different thing, different package, right? Yeah, there's the DSTV app mm. for our existing customers who, oh, who have a decoder. Right. Yeah, and then now we've introduced DSTV via streaming, as a streaming service. Right, so you don't need to have a decoder. Yes, you don't. Right. Brilliant. So, because I have the app, mm. right? But now I want to change up to DVS. So how do I go about that? 
Uh, in this case, you don't need to because uh, yeah. you are already an existing customer. Customer, right? Oh. Uh, you can use the app. You can use your decoder. You'll have uh, different viewing points mm. uh, for DSTV via streaming. Uh, it's uh, you as a new customer. Yes, it's right. Actually, we, are, we are welcoming you to the family as a new customer. Right. Yeah. I like this. And and the thing is also like for me because um I I mentioned my my decoder woes last week. I actually went into a DSTV store, a junction, and bought a decoder. Um, cause I'm already an existing customer. Mm. You know me, I bought the cheapest one. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I'm already an existing customer. So <laughs> I got like a, it? so my decoder. So if you're a new customer, okay. the decoder is 3,999 Bob. But if you're an existing customer mm. and you walk into a store, you can get that one that I got. I paid 1,999 for it. Ah, mm. wow. Some great hearts, so now, man. But let's yeah. get back to DVS. Mm -hmm. What are some of the benefits of, of DVS? Like I can think of one. Yep. Nobody in your house drilling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, True. yeah, yeah, definitely. No wires required, mm. no dish required, no decoder required. Mm. You, all, you need, you all, all you need to have is a stable internet connection right. and you're good to go. So when you sign up, how long is the, um, the, the, like, how does it take? You go on the computer, do you, do you have to have ID, this, that? What's the process? No, 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 no ID required. Uh, basically, you uh, connect through the link. Mm. The link is on our website. Right. Uh, five minutes tops. Five minutes top. You the link is also... Yeah. In the description it's as well. In the description. It's going to be right here. Now, I want to talk about the clarity because yep. me, I'm big on that because I've been watching a lot of things in 4K. <laughs> 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 we don't know what you're watching in 4K, but it's definitely, fine. Definitely. So, so the quality, the clarity is like... Similar, similar. Nothing mm. has changed. Similar to a person who has a decoder. Yeah. Right. Nothing has changed on that. Can you say that if someone put their finger up like this, I can seal the prints off of yeah, their yeah, finger? Is that clear? Yeah, yeah, guy, that clear. I like that. <laughs> this guy. Well, Le for the clarity. Laban, thank you very much for making that clear <laughs> to Calvin. Very clear. 4D clear to Calvin. Um, this guy here, Shafi. Shafi's wearing a Portugal shirt. Now, I don't know if I should tell him or, or we'll just leave it for you guys in the comments. You do realize that following Ronaldo or for, following Portugal because he's, or Ronaldo plays there is not exactly the best move. If I'm being honest, I'm a bit two-sided. Mm. As a Manchester United fan, I'm oh, wishing no, England no, their best. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. You started <laughs> wrong already. Just You've already stick started. Stick to Portugal. <laughs> Let's not bring Manchester so, into so, this. So, so, no, I'm just, I'm just bantering yeah. you. Okay. So, okay. you're a Man United fan? Yeah, so, and most of our English players are there. <sighs> right. So, I'm kind of supporting England, but obviously my first team is Portugal. Now, let me ask you a question. Listen, the brief is for... <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, Qatar. That's what I mean. Yeah. Let's not... He's going to troll you. No, I'm, I'm going to ask you, I I'm asking that. you, are you a Ronaldo fan or are you a Portugal fan? I'm a football fan. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so, so um, how far do you see Portugal going? If I'm being honest, mm. if they get to the semis, that would be luck. Hmm. Right. So basically you're aiming for top four. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you, you should be an Arsenal fan. So okay, I have, I, I okay, I have to be. I said I'm a football fan, so I uh -huh. have to be honest. There are other stronger teams. Belgium is a stronger team. Argentina mm, is a mic, stronger team. Mic, yeah. England is a stronger team. Mm. Spain is a stronger team. So I have to be so, honest with myself. So Portugal number one for you. Number two, England. England. Yes. Mm. Okay. So I think now that we know that you ha you support rubbish football teams <laughs> and rubbish players, how do you watch? How do you watch football? Are you a DVS guy or are you a decoder guy? Okay, I'm a decoder guy. Okay, you are able to watch. You can get all the 64 games on DSTV Compact. Mm -hmm. uh, on Compact. Yes, yes. So that yes. means because me, I'm Compact Plus. Hey, so hey, I'm going to say so like, then you're Compact. Noted. You have much more than. Then. Really? Yes, yes. So yes, all yes. 64 games are on Compact? All of them are live. And, oh, yeah. and for any, anyone who's trying to figure out Compact and Compact Plus, what's it like, um, so compact, the difference in price? In, so Compact Plus is, I think I pay 5100 at the moment, mm -hmm. something like that, and yeah. then Compact is obviously cheaper. Yeah, yeah. But me, I have 64 games, and I can go Compact. Because the only thing I watch is football. Yeah, yeah. There's so much. much to watch, but I'm a football head. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, well, okay, so so you're, you're on Compact, right? Yeah, and DSTV Compact is just 3Gs. Oh. Three, hey! Uh, bus, there you go. Yeah. You see, you see what I like about when we get people who actually live the oh, life. No. You know, you could get expert like, well, you know what our products are. He's my mother. Hey, it's just three Gs. So compact like is three it. Gs, and you get all sixty-four games from Qatar. It's gonna be an amazing experience, a festival of football. I 
only have one f- hope for you, and the hope is that at some point you realize that Cristiano Ronaldo must retire, and then you can choose a better team to support because Portugal are going nowhere. In the, Look, in the, gee, I know that right now your ego is a bit flitted because of Arsenal, but can you first tell us who you're supporting? Then we can have. In, well, for me, let me tell you, I won't lie to you. Do you know what? I'd, I'd love to see win. I'd love to see Belgium win. That's what I'd love to see win. That's the truth for me. For me, and Germany. You, Germany, huh? Yep. Oh, come on. Yeah. No, but you know what? Germany. Now that you to it. Yep. But now that you mention it, uh-huh. do you know what this laptop and these glasses have in common with Arsenal? <laughs> I'll leave it on the table. <laughs> 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 on top of the table. Listen, Levan. Which team do you support? EPL, Arsenal, France. Hey, this hey, is our hey, guy. Hey, hey, okay, like, okay, you know what's going on, man. So let me ask you this, right? So, of course, this time. um different time of the year it's very late almost at christmas um as a football fan right of course that's when you know that whole winter break happens and everything are you feeling like this is so different okay this time it had to be different because of where the, this is located. Mm, yeah. it's in qatar right and it's so damn hot out mm. there so they had to they had to push back right because in december the the, the, winter. the weather is crazy yeah, yeah, the climate winter, is yeah. a bit mm. Mm. tolerable but the good thing though the time difference is is no, is nothing. Literally, yeah. it's an yeah. hour, I think. So yeah, maybe the good thing is at the end of the day we won't have to stay up late. Which is the worst? The worst one when I think it was at the time. Russia? No, Russia was fine. There's a time when it was in Japan and somewhere. Oh. Jeez, up in the middle of the night watching football. What Listen, what year was that? I can't remember, man. Oh, okay. One of them years. Listen, guys, thank you very much for coming through today. Appreciate you. Now, Mr. DVS, I'm going to give you the the last. Tell guys how they can get the DVS DSTV via stream. So it's simple, just click or rather search on Google or any search in mm-hmm. uh, search DSTV streaming. Uh-huh. It will bring the link, uh, click the link, uh, uh, All right. the four easy steps, sign up, uh, the bouquets, are as, uh, the, the, the DSTV family, DSTV access, DSTV compact, compact plus. DSTV compact plus and the DSTV premium. All right. Yeah, no, uh, no decoder required, mm. no dish required. No one in your house, no <laughs> wires, no, no neighbors wires, in the WhatsApp group. No drilling Who is world? drilling at six <laughs> o'clock in the evening? No. I want to yeah. sleep. As, as we wrap, right, you guys are super calm and, you know, voices all subtle and everything. I want to see how loud you guys can say, Chachisha Mechi. Okay. In, so on the count, the count of three. three, right? All right. Okay. One, one two, two, three. three. Chachisha Mechi in Qatar. There you go. That's what I'm talking well about, done. man. Thank you very much, Laban and Shafi, for coming through and breaking down and shedding some light. Now, before we move on, for everyone who entered the competition last week, we're a competition courtesy of DSTV. We've given away a whole host of goodies. And the question we asked you last week was, which team will have to travel the furthest to get to Qatar? Which team will have to travel the furthest to get to Qatar? Um, so many people entered. A lot of you guys said Belgium. And then you gave me all of these graphic points of Belgium, <laughs> this, that, the other. Oh, they're going to have to travel the furthest because they're staying here. It's, dream. it's not Belgium. <laughs> Listen, I've given you another opportunity um, to win today. Which team, which country is going to have to travel the furthest to get to Qatar? Like they're leaving from Kenya to Qatar. How far is that? They're leaving from America to Qatar. How far is that? That is the answer we're looking for. And on our social media pages this week, look out at the mics that are open handles. We have another chance for you to win, all courtesy of DSTV, as we Chachisha Mechi in, in Qatar. Qatar. Now, yes. open mics. What are going on, Andy? Oh, yeah. Uh, we had an interesting one over here. Mm. As you're looking for open mics, yes, don't yes. forget, buy our merchandise. You can check it out on the Instagram page. The mics are open Instagram page. It's right there. Just click on it and you can buy everything. I mean, I was meant to sell it differently this week, but, you know, Just we're sell keeping it. it professional. <laughs> I had, sell, I, had sell, sell. I was telling you to sell. <laughs> you you heard, endorse. right? Yeah, I endorse. I better, I better yeah, get some, some extra, skis, some the skis, big skis. bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the big bucks. <laughs> sell, sell. <laughs> Right, open mics. But anyway, oh open mics. Um, so I have an issue you all can discuss during mics. Uh, it's based on what Z and Calvin were discussing last week on how the radio shows they did with hangovers <laughs> when lit <laughs> slash when lit were the best shows. Can you guys tell us if it's advisable hosting a radio show when under the influence 
open brackets, so as to get to be lit during the show, close brackets. Uh. As compared to doing shows when sober, but still get to have the energy required. Since at the end of the day, this is a job like any other, and I think employers won't be so happy to see that the only time their radio hosts do good shows <laughs> <laughs> is when they're under the influence. <laughs> Plus, how do you get the energy in the days where you are just off? And lastly, what would you advise us guys who look forward to getting into the radio industry? Okay, um, that was, that was awesome. my, that's quite that's a lot of no questions. Comment. Let's start about the alcohol. Mic. <laughs> Let's start about the alcohol part first. Um, yeah. It's not advisable for you to make it a practice to go on air when you're high. That's mm-hmm. that's number one. It's like you can't drive heavy machinery while you're high. You can't do. You you shouldn't go into the radio station high. However, <laughs> occasionally, <laughs> occasionally, like if you're a DJ, you're gonna come from a club and you might be a bit sourced yeah. and you do your show. Fam, and if those shows are lit, well, you know, but think about it. If we've done, between us, we've probably done 500,000 shows yeah. between all of us, right? Mm. Yeah. I'm sure that of those 500,000, no, that's a lot. Of those 50,000 shows that we've done collectively, mm. I'm pretty sure that 49,895, <laughs> we were sober. We're very sober. We were you, very sober. You, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't base your vibe show. on alcohol. You Facts. can't do a radio show high. Because there's also every so much day. concentration. <laughs> Emphasis on every, every day. day. <laughs> not every day. Because if you're high every day, you're alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Facts, not not yeah. possible. Not yeah. possible. Also, yeah. um, advice for people. Um, you know, you let me tell you. One radio. thing mm. I've learned, and I've learned, I was taught this by um, my, 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 what do you call those? Mentor in the UK. And also when I came to Kenya, it's another thing that Caroline Motoko used to say. She always Where is your credit? What's his name? Ray Paul. No. Who? What's your big boss over there called? That My white mentor guy. was Ray Paul. Oh. Oh, oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, Caroline says, right, and this is 10, 10 many years ago. The first time I met her, we were talking to a group of students. Oh, you're not nice. And she said, um, it's a performance. Mm-hmm. Every time you walk into the studio, it's a performance. Nobody cares if you haven't slept. Yeah. Nobody cares if you've broken up with your significant other. Nobody cares if you didn't have breakfast. Nobody cares. The audience, every single show is a performance. And for me, in my mind, I'm like, yo, I'm not happy every day at 5, uh, 5 a.m., 4.30 a.m. I'm not happy when I get to the studio. The 30 minutes makes such a huge difference. <laughs> I'm not happy when I get to the studio at whatever time I get to the studio. Um, I'm not happy Wait, na- generally. But yeah. once you open the mic... Fam, you can be down. You can be down in the dumps. Mm. Once you open that microphone, hey, it's ten minutes past six o'clock. This is one three five homeboys radio, and you go. <coughs> it's a performance at ten o'clock. Oh. You walk out the building. You say nothing to nobody. Damn. But that four hours during the studio long, <coughs> huh? like your fast link is what My six f- ten, and you're there oh. at four thirty. Damn, bro. What time, what time <laughs> is your fast link? <laughs> His first link is the same time. So wait. Six or eight. Yeah. Two minutes. Mm. <laughs> For real. So I think, I mean, that's my opinion. Every show you do is a show. Yeah, it's like the podcast. True. It's like yeah. the podcast. Yeah. Nah. The, it is. It's not like the podcast, bro. It we is. We drink live on the podcast, bro. It's no, not the that's same. No, we drink live. <laughs> so on, the, the, right. the dynamics have to change, bro. We drink live on the podcast sometimes, <laughs> yeah. right? But I'm yeah. saying, mm. it's like the podcast. Like, even if you came in this room mm. before we started, we were just like, like guys were eating samosas, yeah. courtesy of DSTV. We're chilling. Guys are drinking sodas. Guys are doing, enjoying the environment. But the minute now, when the mics, the mics go, go on, on. Mm. it's a performance. When the mics These are These guys open. who are watching here, they could have gone home. Have you enjoyed yourself today? Yeah. See? It's a performance. Ah, you paid them. You paid them before. No. <laughs> and by the no, way, once true. the mics, once the podcast is finished, we're, we're not going to talk to them. <laughs> yeah, why you paid them? Why you paid them? Yeah. No, for real. We might be it's a performance. Broken. You know, Put, we might be. Just be aware. Hungry. It's a performance. And if you want to get into radio, get yourself a podcast. Get a bomb podcast and, and do the thing. Fact. Yeah, man. All right. Calvin. Nothing, nothing to add. We have no, no comments, comments, man. Like, yeah. like we, you know, here's yes. the thing. Yeah. <coughs> do you? Do you? Whatever. Do? Whatever he's got nothing to say, he says, do you? Listen, <laughs> this has been the mics are open, all courtesy of our good friends at DSTV. Don't forget, Tachisha, Mechi in Qatar. Get yourself with the coders. 3,999. Uh, 3,999. Bob, yeah. say that in Swahili. 
3,999 bob. Yo, can you say that in Swahili? Ah, yes. Say it. it. Quick. Um, Elfu Tatu. Uh-huh. Uh, Mia Kenda. Ah, the too long. In a Kenda. He's, wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. Oh what my is God. so wrong? <laughs> what? You threw in a what? eight. There was no eight. Kenda. There, bro. By the way, Mizi Kenda. The Manini. What is the Manini? Oh. Mizi Kenda. Kenda. Wait, 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 wait. And also, at least you now know what DVS stands for. <laughs> DSTV oh. via streaming. We're streaming, out in yeah. the building. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Wait, Mizi Kenda. Wait, no. Tisini na Tisa. Na, not, na, yeah. Yeah. Wait, right, 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 right. You know what I've always wanted to do? Uh, let's, finish the, let's finish the show with like a round of applause. Can we get a round of applause <laughs> from our studio audience? <laughs> <laughs> po, 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 po. <laughs> Rap. 